Greetings to the students of class 5th. All the students are welcome in the maths class. Dear students, we are doing chapter number 10, data analysis. From this chapter, today we will learn to do bar graph. So, let's start. Dear students, on a mobile phone shop, a shopkeeper sold mobile phone sets of different companies. Let's see how many mobile phone sets of these companies were sold by him. He sold 40 sets of company A, 32 of company B, 56 of company C, 72 of company D and 96 sets of company E. Before representing this data on a bar graph, let's learn what a bar graph is. A bar graph is a graph which represents data vertically or horizontally with the help of a rectangular bar. The length of this rectangular bar depends upon the given data. Dear students, let's observe data given in this table carefully and draw a bar graph representing this data. Kids, to draw a bar graph, we draw two lines, one vertically and one horizontally on a paper. These two lines meet at a point called zero. On the vertical line, we mark different points at equal distance from each other. Whereas on the horizontal line, we mark points to draw rectangular bars of equal breadth these rectangular bars should be at equal distance from each other. Dear students, now let's represent data given in this table on this bar graph. Kids, on the vertical side of this bar graph, I have written number of sets sold, whereas along with the horizontal side, I have written company. On the vertical line, I have represented the data at a scale of 8, whereas on the horizontal line, I have written the names of companies A, B, C, D and E. Kids, now let's see how many mobile sets of company A were sold. To represent mobile sets sold by company A on this bar graph, we will draw a rectangular bar starting from 0 to 40 at the level of 40. So we have drawn a bar graph for company A at the level of 40. Now company B sold. 32 mobile sets to represent it on this bar graph. We will draw a rectangular bar from 0 to 32 at the level of 32. So we have drawn rectangular bar for company B. Company C sold 56 mobile sets to represent it on this bar graph. We will draw a rectangular bar from 0 to 56 at the level of 56. So dear kids, here we have drawn a rectangular bar representing the number of sets sold by company C. Company D sold 72 sets. We will draw a rectangular bar for company D from 0 to 72 at the level of 72. So, this bar represents the number of mobile sets sold by company D. Company E sold 96 sets to represent it on the bar graph. We will draw a rectangular bar from 0 to 96 at the level of 96. So, kids, this rectangular bar represents the number of mobile sets sold by company E. So, we have drawn a bar graph representing data given in this table. Dear students, now let's read this bar graph. Can you tell me 
which company sold the maximum number of mobile sets? Dear students, we can see that rectangular bar of company E is the highest one that is at the level of 96. So, company E sold the maximum number of mobile sets. Now, can you tell me which company sold the minimum number of mobile sets? Company B represents the smallest rectangular bar in this bar graph at the level of 32. So, company B sold minimum number of mobile sets. Which company sold 72 mobile sets? Yes, company D represents the rectangular bar at the level of 72. So, that means company D. Dear kids, now for homework, you have to solve question number 5 and question number 6 of exercise 10.1. Thank you so much, all of you.